Okay, fine. I'm gonna do a top five things. Top five things from Ben in Berlin. So many of you asked for it. Okay, one of you asked for it. Um, just, just, just one. But I'm all about the fan. Top five things you shouldn't do in Berlin. First up, I'm gonna level with you guys. I'm not a huge fan of these sorts of videos. Not because I don't think there are things you shouldn't do in Berlin, which are frowned upon or not on. Because Berlin is so flippin' relaxed and welcoming. Well, I'm gonna give you a top five things you shouldn't do in Berlin, but hopefully not in a preachy way. Because, you know, we all make mistakes and I think mistakes are really important for life, you know? It's like when you're, you're going one direction and you realize you're going the wrong way. You can't just, turn around, which is completely fine, and admit that you went the wrong way. You have to sort of go, bah, as if something dramatic had changed in your life, and then spin, and then walk the correct direction. And it's those sort of mistakes I mean. Right, so, strap yourself in for a top five things you shouldn't do in Berlin. It's all about learning, I mean fun. Number one, shopping for fast fashion and wearing it out and about. This is pretty much true everywhere, but especially in Berlin. Why the flipping flip are you funding the fast fashion craze anyway? Berlin is all about anti-style. Don't flash a brand. Go out and wear your, your gym jams, I mean PJs or, or pajamas, or your jimmy jammeries, or your jammy jimmeroos. And side note, when I look this up in the uh, online search engine of choice, um, let's call it Boggle. Gym jam is a fit of depression or nervousness. Now I thought that was the jitters. Anyway, call it what you like. It's completely fine to wear your gym jam jammeroos out and about in the streets of Berlin. Pretty normal. Wear trainers everywhere. Even I've conf... conf... Hold on. Even I've conformed to the running shoe. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's right. And I love a smart shoe. I do. Uh, bum bags or, or fanny packs, they're really cool now. They're almost as cool as the rucksack, which you know I like to wear around in the videos. And also Berlin isn't a huge goth city. People just like wearing black here. I mean, as do I, it's the, uh, it's the slimming color, right? So like actually dress how you want to like actually dress because Berlin is all about being yourself you can be whoever you want to be here you can dress however you want to dress but just don't fund the horrible fashion houses who have a history of slave labor and all that stuff just don't do it especially not in Berlin number two chit chat club the club is strong in Berlin the first rule of club is thou shall not speak about the club I'm a lark, which means I'm the opposite of a night owl. Cuckoo! So um, I know a little bit about the nightclubs in Berlin, but I'm by no means an expert. So putting my Louis Theroux cap on, this is kind of what it's like. Berlin is a city full of night owls, and these guys love to go to the nightclubs in the early hours of the morning. Now I'm going to showcase to you now some photos of some famous nightclubs, but for secretive reasons, I've slightly edited the original. So first up, we have Katablau, aka the male blue cat. Sat there with his cheeky grin. Meow. And uh, what's this? Oh, Kit Kat, the infamous sex nightclub in Berlin. Mm, tasty. And uh, what's uh, what's next? Ah, Burkind. And uh, oh, what's happened? The file not found. It's so secretive, the image has disappeared. So there we go, an insight into some of the nightclubs in Berlin. But why does Berlin have this incredible relationship with nightclubs? Well, it all goes back to the east-west divide in the city. When the Berlin Wall came down in 1989, yes, I do my own sound effects, um, this uh, city of two, so two cities, suddenly became one. And over in East Berlin, all the rules and regulations they had beforehand stopped. And so it was incredible free for all. And these people who had lived sometimes their entire lives under complete suppression were free. And what do you do when you're free? You go somewhere and you dance like there's no tomorrow.
And so overnight, nightclubs sprung up all over the city, but especially in East Berlin, former East Berlin. Nightclubs in Berlin have actually moved around locations, um, but they keep that community of fans. And as they go around, they're having a great time. This is people, this movement with my arms here, I'm cutting, I'm cutting pastry. Look at this, I'm making scones. But the nightclubs in Berlin still have this ambition from that time, this sense of trust, this sense of community. And so it's so important those people go and have a great time and don't talk about it because there was that fear back then of we'll be caught out, this isn't allowed. And for a lot of people, what the flip is going on? This is incredible. And so Berlin has never lost that. And so when you go to nightclubs in Berlin, you don't come out and talk about it. You don't take pictures inside. You don't scream and shout and put it on YouTube, for example. You just have a great time and you live the moment. And Berlin is the kind of city where you can find pretty much anything to do. And you might find that uh, in the nightclub anyway, or you might meet people in that club who are also interested in the thing you're interested in, which in the cold light of day is perceived as slightly wrong in society or a little bit Ugh. And so you can find those people or you can find that nightclub and you can do whatever it is that get your rocks off. Number three, judging those who look in bins. Oh my God, that man is looking through the bin. What is that woman doing? She's got her hands in a bin. Are just some of the things I've overheard in this city. Now I hope those people who, who made those comments went on to a search engine of choice like, um, uh, what do we call it? Uh, Boggle and uh, found out very quickly that the reason people look into bins is because some Germans can't meet ends meet. Meet ends meet, can't make ends meet can't make ends meet. And many glass and plastic bottles in Germany have a fan, a recycling deposit charge. And so either people don't realize that bottle has it and so place it in the bin, or perhaps they don't know about this system in Germany, I'm looking at you tourists, and they place them in the bin. And we don't know someone's situation, we're not sure if they've fallen on hard times, uh, they're struggling financially. Um, Berlin also has quite a large problem right now with pensioners and the pension they receive isn't actually enough to live on during the month. And so these people are going out there to, to look for bottles basically. But also with those pensioners, it's also about having a sense of purpose and combating loneliness as well. So it's a pretty, pretty deep issue guys, but I won't uh, stay on it too long. We've got some more things you shouldn't do in Berlin to come up. Number four, not learning about the dark times. If you think Berlin and if you think Germany doesn't accept its dark past, then you've got to get yourself into the many museums and exhibitions in this city. Germany and Berlin could have swept its dark past underneath the carpet and try to forget about it. But it has done the opposite. It has actually accepted its past and embraced it in the idea you should never forget what happened because by learning about the bad things, we can make sure they don't happen again in the future. Berlin today now has a new problem as such. It's been 30 years since the fall of the Berlin Wall. That's the wrong noise for a fall, isn't it? It sounds like a whip. Um, too explosive. Um, it's like a tree being felled. But anyway, um, Berlin's problem today is that it has to accept its Cold War history. So history has painted this picture. The Berlin Wall, different noise again, coming down was the best thing that could ever happen to this city and to this country. And a lot of people still believe that and a lot of people still feel that. Cool. However, there are quite a number of people over in former East Berlin and former East Germany who no longer feel that way or perhaps never felt it at all. But most of them, I presume, had some initial happiness and then it became a cold reality. Because when the Berlin Wall came down, they might have lost their jobs. The factories in East Berlin and East Germany where they worked might have shut down because they were more profitable in the West and all sorts of reasons like this. And so we have to remember that for those people, it can be quite tough living more in the Western world as such. And so that's just an important thing to think about as you're exploring the history of Berlin. And number five, not exploring the city. Now Berlin is eight times the size of Paris. That's bigger than seven times the size of Paris and not quite as big as nine times the size of Paris, but really flipping big. It's about 891 square kilometers in size. So there's so much exploring you can do. Now in the center of Mitte, you have all of this great stuff. 
the TV tower, the Berliner Dome, the Cardi Day. And that's all great and fine, and you can explore that and have a merry good time in Berlin. But what you could also do to truly explore this city, which is ginormous, is go to former East Berlin in districts like Prenzlauer Berg and go and try vegan sushi, you know, or take a step to the west, which is probably that way, and go and explore things like the sedate regal atmosphere of Charlottenburg and go and see the Charlottenburg Palace, the only remaining Prussian palace in Berlin. Berlin ain't got one center, so go and explore it as much as you can. And watch my other YouTube videos to find out more about the history and culture of notable mentions. Nudity is really big in Berlin. It's really big in Germany, to be fair. So if you see a male, female, or non-disclosed nipple, don't go, oh, a nipple? Just, you know, if you see it, fine. It's a nipple, doesn't matter. Nudity is big here. Lots of areas where nudists can hang out. Obviously don't go around there and start taking photos. But if you see it, you can obviously look over and go, oh, look, there's a, you know, people are being all naked and stuff. Cool. Smoking is still big in Berlin. So don't walk in a bar and go, oh, phew, there's someone having a barbecue in here. It's so smoky. Not that unusual in Berlin. It's a bit like the smoking ban came in in Europe, in a lot of countries in Europe. And uh, Germany went, uh, oh yeah, that's, uh, yeah, we should, yeah, it's bad for your health. We should, um, yeah, we should not do that. And Berlin said, yeah, no, no, we're gonna, we're gonna keep that it was. And Berliners were like, yeah, cool. And so don't be shocked by it. Cash is still king, even during a global pandemic when they said try and use card as much as possible. Berlin once again went, oh yeah, 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 we probably probably should, but uh, no, we we like having coins and cash. It feels nice in our hands. And so Berlin kind of kept doing it. And if you're watching this video in the future, um, cash was our form of currency. And we'd heard of Bitcoin, but we hadn't yet embraced it. We still use uh, little uh, small things and hand them over between each other. And that was our form of paying for things. Okay, last but not least, forget everything I have just said in this video, the top five things you shouldn't do in Berlin. Because Berlin is Berlin. And you can kind of do, within reason, whatever you flipping want. That's why I love this city. It embraces its history, but lets you be whoever you wanna be when you come here. And that's what draws in people like myself from all around the world to this fantastic welcoming city. Go forth and have fun. Find your niche in the club. Leave a bottle underneath the bin. Learn about old stuff. Go to a random district at the end of the tube line and wear your coolest uncool clobber out and about. Peace out. If you've enjoyed this video, then why not give it a big thumbs up in the form of a like. Think I've missed something? Then why not leave a sucky comment? And of course, most importantly, if you're new here, you can subscribe for more quality entertainment from Ben in Berlin. Cheers.